What up, ladies? It's Madame Wario! Welcome to the Stram to the Stram. Happy Friday. Happy Friday night Mario Party. It is Mario Party 6 tonight. We are playing Fair Square. There was actually a tie for the board choice this week between Clockwork Castle and Fair Square. I was in more of a Fair Square mood, and whenever there's a tie, I always break it with my own opinion, because that's just the easiest way to go about that. Uh, so we're going to be playing Fair Square, round four, Mario Party 6 tonight. Thank you all for being here. I'm fashionably late, literally because of fashion. That is why I am late. I know I blamed it on Taco Bell, but it was kind of a lie. It wasn't a lie. I did go to Taco Bell. I did eat Taco Bell, but the fact that I was late was not because of Taco Bell. It was because um, I'm doing a Rosalina cosplay a week from today. I'm doing a Rosalina cosplay at Anime Crossroads. It's going to be my first convention in three years. And I didn't have any shoes, and I have, like, no time in the coming week. So, literally the hour before my stream, Odie volunteered to buy me shoes for Roro. So, um, and you know, when a girl, when a girl shoe shops, ooh, it becomes a whole event. So, it was so fun. I got the perfect shoes. I'm so excited. I actually got two pairs of shoes, because one I might wear to the movie. I'm going to be cosplaying as Rosalina at the Mario movie this year, too. Um... I have the perfect pair of shoes for the cosplay. I also have an alternate pair of shoes if I really want to be, like, super edgy and... Well, I just needed this other pair of shoes, too, okay? I'm just making excuses. I really needed a, a reason to buy more than one pair of shoes. Um, and... <laughs> Then, after that, I went to Taco Bell because I hadn't eaten yet, so I was like, alright, well, the, the true reason I am in the Taco Bell line at 7.58pm and I'm supposed to be live in two minutes is because I, in the time I would have been eating, I was shoe shopping, so. Anyway, regardless, the cosplay is done. The only thing I need now is, like, a bag. I want to carry, like, a cute, sparkly, star-themed bag if I can find something. If not, I'll just, I'll make it work, but... Um, that's not as dire as shoes. I'm gonna need to have shoes on. The bag I can figure out later, but anyway. Um, so, I, uh, the line didn't even take this long this time. I'm so excited. Look, Jilly, you ready to stream? Awesome! Thank you so much to all the positive hype received for my Roro cosplay that I gave a little sneak peek of on Twitter and Instagram yesterday. You can still find it on Twitter, it might be expired on Instagram now because it was whoa hello now because it was part of my story but um yeah Odie had to uh, Odie volunteered to buy me shoes and I was really excited because the only other man that's ever bought me shoes in my entire life was Chuck Conroy <laughs> like, that's so strange to say that so Odie's now the second person to ever buy me second man to ever buy me shoes <laughs> thank you Thanks, Chugga. I still have those shoes. I still love them, and I'll probably wear them this weekend as well. Or not this weekend, but next weekend. Um, love you, Chugga. Love you, Odie. Thanks for the shoes. <laughs> anyway. Oh, gosh. I've gotten so... Can you guys tell I'm excited because I got new shoes? All right. Let's say hi to everybody who's here. We have Rainbow Road. 1996, Armand 2017, Odin's back with that Barney Bubble, the MVP, Turn of the Drew, this sounds like a Rugrats song, this background music for the menu of Mario Party 6, it's back to 2000 on my GameCube by the way, we went back in time, 
Turn of the Drew, Psycho Nacho Man, Ms. Mario Fan 7, The GC Nick, V Booey, Funky Mike 03, uh, Arm. I already said hi to you, Armand. I'm already duplicating. Macarilla, uh, Fun Size. Wait, did I already say? I did. Sorry. Fun Size Mikey again. Um, Pink Eagle Soaring. I did not say that one already. Alright, cool. <laughs> <laughs> Pixel Plume, Phantom Tempest, Phoenix Warriors, Brandon, ooh, with new caps! I always notice when you guys change up your usernames. Uh, Psycho Nacho Man, wait, did I say hi to you already? No, I did Wait, yes I did! Alright, well about four of you got doubles tonight, so you should feel lucky. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, Mario Gamerable, Rolly64, Yo Yo Yoshi95, anybody who's lurking as well, because I think that's everybody and some of you like five times. So, yay. Is this right? Yes. I did title the stream correctly. Let's go! Good evening, Cass. Good evening, gamers. Good evening, Odin Casanova. SP1 Thank you for the bits to kick us off. First bits of the night. I think. Yes. First bits of the night. Just to go over goals really quick, you guys, as I always do. Currently working towards a financial goal that will unlock an Ask Madame Oreo question and answer stream so you can learn all the hot goss that you've always wanted to know via stream. Uh, also, in addition to that, I still have my... Uh, sub goal going. Trying to get to 150 to unlock a Yo Yo Yoshi's Crafted World revisit. Um, and then after that, there's going to be the the goal for Ocarina of Time. Gosh, okay. So those are the current goals. I have my daily goal of 10 subs, always. And oh, tomorrow! Tomorrow is my Just Dance stream for the month of February. So. Definitely um, check that out if you're interested. I have decided to start doing these once a month, at least in the year 2023. That's the goal. And I have to prep because I had a full blown, like, full blown, okay, everything but makeup yesterday. I put together all the accessories, full wig, everything, every finishing touch I needed, I finished yesterday for my cosplays. So. I have two. One's a surprise because it's in the masquerade. The other one is Rosalina, um, as I already said earlier. And I had to have a day to put all that together. I meant to have it a lot sooner, but when I got sick, it postponed it and whatever. Doesn't matter. It's done. Practice the dance. I need to work on keeping my stamina up for next uh, Saturday. So that is the tea on that. I'm going to be playing Just Dance 2020. Uh, once again, I'm going to be taking requests via donations, whether that be bits or a regular old like monetary donation. Um, and Odie has signed up again to provide his uh, <laughs> his guest stardom, if you will. Uh, Arcadia Free, welcome! I've never played a Zelda game before, GC Nick, so yes, it will be the original Ocarina of Time. It'll be my first Zelda game as well. First time playing, first Zelda game. It'll be a fun time. My, my Crafted World Revisit, you know it. Oh, Bree, thank you so much. Oh, my God, you remembered. But they're not your average points. But they're not your average points. Please tell me she does this. Do not let me down, Siri. If she doesn't do this, I'm literally going to play this again until she does. I give up. Uh, uh, I'm going to play it again. No, no, I don't know what to think about that. Uh, 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 thank you so much for the resub. Thank you guys. All the boss to both of you. Thank you so much. Uh, there will not be more songs to choose from this time, Rolly, only because I don't have anything beyond Just Dance 2020, and I don't play it often enough necessarily to justify the ultimate version however if that's of major interest for you guys then maybe I will do that for the year because I don't really think it's that expensive I just we, I know we didn't even remotely get through all the songs last time lovely kin I don't think I said hi to you or track star yet uh, I, uh, 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 I said hi to you did not 
no hands, no hands. Oh what my gosh, Mario that. Gamer, well, thank you for the I'm resub as well. Points, but they're not your average points. <laughs> I'm gonna replay your sub, Bree, to try and get her to read it. Otherwise, I'm gonna have to sing it. Which is fine, I will. I don't care, but... How? What? Also, I don't know if the... I don't know if Streamlabs has fixed their weird credit issue yet. No hands, no hands. I don't know what to think about that. I literally put it on my calendar, so I wouldn't forget. They call me D U D E T H A T H A S S E X W I T H P I G S F O R M O N E Y B U T O N L Y A S A S I D E T A I N G R I G H T. What, what's the name? Something. Du, 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 du. Apostrophe. God, I already messed up. Okay, well, whatever. She did She did it. She did it, finally. Thank you, Bree. <laughs> Thank you so much. Okay, I'm, I'm putting the boss in chat. What are my other announcements? This is a Lonely Island song called Spell It Out, where he's like, they call me D-U-D-E-T-H-A, T-H-A. If I was listening to it at the same time, I could do it all. I used to be able to do it by myself. I don't know if I could now. Once you get into a rhythm, it's like you can't stop. And if you mess up, you're screwed. You cannot get back on. It's like, forget it. Um, and it's Bree's favorite song. Even if she says no, she's like. So. All right, I went over goals. Goals. God, I can't um, Oh, thank you so much, Psycho. Bitties. Can a bouncing cat S P E L L I T O U T? Oh, look at her go! Look at Siri go! I always skip it, or else I know it'd get ingrained into my head forever. It's also ingrained in my head forever, even though I just messed it up. Um. Yeah, you don't dislike the song; you just don't want to accidentally memorize it. It's too late for me. I already did. <laughs> I already did. I'm proud of myself for memorizing. Um, what else was I saying? There was something, I I went over goal announcements. Just Dances Tomorrow at 8 p.m. Eastern. Rolly, thank you so much for the $5 donation. Give me a pizza. Hey, are you ready to play? Why does she ask it like that? I-N-D-E-P-E-N-D-E-N-T, <laughs> you know what that means. Let's go! Thank you so much, Rolly. Thank you so much. Can we get the pizzas in chat? If you don't have Madam 5 pizza, then get your pizza emojis. Uh, thank you so much, Rolly, for contributing another $5 to the Ask M Dub stream. Uh, so, other than Just Dance tomorrow at 8 o'clock p.m. Eastern, with requests, I will be streaming on Monday and possibly Tuesday as well. I think I'm gonna try and stream both days. I don't know that what time on Tuesday, but Monday will be the same time as always. And it should be the finale of Mario Party 3 story mode. I think we're gonna we're gonna complete it that night. So Monday at 8 o'clock p.m. Eastern, that's gonna be Mario Party 3 story mode finale uh, to wrap up. Tuesday, I don't know what I'm doing yet. I'm gonna have to figure it out. Um, if I'm streaming that day or what. I'm gonna try though just because I won't be streaming at all next weekend. So Friday, Saturday, next weekend I will not be streaming on my regular schedule. If I do stream at all it'll be like live from the convention and it'll just be mobile so it'll be on my phone. I don't want to promise that because I don't know how well the connection's gonna be. Um, you know, I, I don't know how that's gonna go. So I'm not making promises, but I do want to try. So I don't know what time, I don't have anything in mind. I'm not, probably not gonna announce it either. It's probably just gonna be like, you get a notification, that's it. Um, but next Friday, Saturday, there's no Friday Night Mario Party, there's no Saturday stream. Monday though, not this coming Monday, but after, Monday after the convention, which is, what day is that? The 20, is it the 28th? Yeah, no, 27th. Mon 27! Monday, February 27th, I'm gonna have a just chatting stream that night. So instead of Monday, like Mario Party Monday, I'm probably going to do a con story time talking. You guys know there's gonna be stories, like there always is. Probably like a haul if I buy anything. <laughs> if, good joke. Um, 
just talking about the convention, so that's probably get, what's gonna happen on Monday instead of Mario Party. I'll make a note of that on Discord as well, so you guys know, because it just seems appropriate. Um, and then everything should go back to normal for a while. Did we get that Pepsi, Alan? I did not. I wanted Dr. Pepper. I was in a Dr. Pepper mood, so Odie got me Dr. Pepper from Burger King. <laughs> I cheated on Taco Bell. How could I? Anyway, how do I feel going back to convention after so many years? Oh my god. So excited. I am so excited. Um... It feels like it's been about a hundred years since my last convention at this rate, which my last convention would have been the same one that I'm going to in 2020, right before the, the shutdown of the world. Um, so I'm super excited. I'm most excited to be like, I'm most excited, most anxious and nervous, all three, about competing in a cosplay masquerade again. And this is actually the first time, it's kind of sad, because it's the first time I've com competed in this one without my sister. So I'm like, this feels weird. <laughs> so, um, I don't think my sister's going. I don't know. I need to talk to her, but she, like, literally just became a nurse full time. And so I don't really know what her schedule is. I don't think that's it's super, it was kind of, like, not really in the cards to begin with. So Madam Toadstool is probably not gonna be there but it's gonna be weird because I'm gonna be like all alone um competing which usually we do a duet so but it'll be fun it'll still be fun I'm giving it a ba for fun size Mikey um oh that is such a cute one hype love one <laughs> cheating on Taco Bell Gucci so I'm anyway I'm just very excited I'm very excited I'm ready I think and it took me a while, you know, back when cons were first like, yay, it's gonna be a thing again. I didn't want to go for like a year or so until like pandemic was not on the brain and I hadn't gotten COVID yet. Now I've gotten COVID, yay. Um, right after my wedding, <laughs> woo, what a fun time. I'm so ashamed. I'm like, oh my God, I hate that like the wedding resulted in a big COVID break for like all of my friends and family. That was really cool. And like, it's just so stupid, but I don't have any control over it, um, I guess. So yeah, what a bonding experience for us all. But it was just like, I was like embarrassed about it. Like, seriously, I don't want people to, I don't know why I care. I don't, it's like, I don't care what random people say, but it still, like, irked me that, like, after the wedding, I was getting, like, random people tweeting at me, like, wow, so you just got everyone sick at your wedding? And it's like, I didn't plan this, I didn't purposely do this, but I was, like, getting hate messages, like, you weren't even there! I don't even know who you are! Weird! I feel weird enough as is about it. So, right, it's not like I brought it and was like, here, guys! <laughs> We even gave it to my mom! What the heck? Ugh, sucks. Yeah, people are dumb. Don't listen to stupid people because life's too short and they're not worth it. Don't listen to the hate. People are so hateful online and it's so obnoxious and it drives me insane. I'm like, why? Why do people use online as like the ultimate hate outlet? I don't get it. That's why I just do not talk about anything that's just stupid. Or that could cause confrontation like that's unnecessary. It's just dumb. Um, yeah, here's COVID wrapped it up in a nice bow in a basket, you know, obviously. Oh, thank you for the follow and welcome Dark Star, Dark S Star 64. And, um, Swag Kirby official, welcome. Oh, Arcadia Free, oh my god, I was like numb to this song that's happening right now. <laughs> I never know what to put in these message box thingies. But just know I am so grateful for your content. Oh, I'm so grateful for your support, Arcadia Free. Thank you so much for the extra love. If we can get all the pizzas. Oh, there's a froggo as well. Thank you so, so much. Um, I really appreciate all the support in any way, shape, or form you guys give. Whether that's just like lurking in the background watching or chatting or donating or any of that stuff. Just know that it's it's very much appreciated. Oh my god, I guess I had a lot to say. I've been talking for like 20 minutes and we haven't even gotten to this game yet. And I'm already late, so it was just that kind of night, you know? <laughs> it's fine. 
I think we can continue talking and get into the game at least. Um, I'm gonna switch screens here. Boosh. There we go. I've still got chili in the corner. It's 2000, guys. Did you know that I had, um, had this game before it ever released in, on January 1st, 2000? Obviously. I don't know why my calendar keeps resetting. I don't know, but it makes it look funny. Alright, we're gonna go into party mode. We're gonna play fair square. I am going to refresh Nightbot, so Nightbot actually works here in a second, because I'm gonna need him. <laughs> I said Jilly instead of- Jilly! Jilly is in the other- Jilly's in this corner, so I, I guess even if you heard that phantom, it, it was still accurate. <laughs> Alright, um... Thanks, Swag Kirby. I actually don't. I actually am not a fan of the WarioWare series at all. But I do love Wario as a character. Okay, fair square. Fair and square. I'm gonna do... I guess 25 turns. Just because I know these games get a little bit longer as we go. And I've already been talking and stuff, and we can do extra things if we need to. Okay, you guys, get your characters in the, uh... In the chat, who do you want to see as CPUs? Go ahead and post them. Oh my god, the great Dolly Dodge! I didn't mean to! I'm so sorry, Brandon! <laughs> I'm so sorry, Brandon! Here's Dolly, while you guys are picking. Um, gosh, I didn't mean to do this. I swear. Alright, roll it. Ooh, Rainbow Road! Choosing the first victim. Daisy. Wait, Daisy? Oh wait, yeah she is. I was like, Daisy's not even on here! Oh wait a second. Uh... And Mario Gamer Bowl, let's go! While the, look at this, the Mario Party 3 crew! Alright, I'm gonna have the next one be... Subs only. And it's gonna be Rolly with Toadette! Ooh! Alright. Thank you guys. Thanks for choosing who everybody is. All right, we're ready to get this party started. Fair square. Most recent one of these was Snowflake Lake because it was around Christmas time. And I was like, guys, vote for this. There we go, she's back there. You can see her, I think. All right, cool. Yay, Dolly and Jilly. Oh my gosh. So this week, in addition to getting cosplays ready to go for next weekend... Crap, why do I always roll so late and then I end up going third? In addition to all that, I've also been working on UFOs, known as unfinished objects, in the craft community. Um, I had a lot of scrap... Well, I guess I didn't have a lot, but I had a decent amount of scrap yarn that couldn't really be made into anything substantial, so I came up with some fun ideas. It, I kind of like doing this because then it allows me to get creative and be like, what could I use this for? How could I make, how could I not waste this? Um, so I've been putting together a lot of new merch for my Etsy store. It's not done yet and I, it probably, I probably won't release anything new in my Etsy store until March. Just because I kind of want to get everything done, photograph it all at once, make descriptions, the whole the whole nine yards, all at the same time. Uh, but I think what I'm going to do is have an Etsy sale. Like, I don't usually do sales outside of, like, Black Friday and stuff. But, um, I do, I, I think I'm going to maybe have a bit of a sale just to, like, try and clear out some of the older merch um, for spring, like a spring cleaning sale or something, I don't know, but there's not a whole lot in there right now, so we'll see how I want to do this. Okay, yeah, I know this game. I know this game! Um, oh god. Oh, oh, that was hard to tell! I was too slow. I was way too slow. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I almost pressed the wrong button. I wish this was A, B, Z. That would be easier for me. 
Oh no, it wasn't him! I'm wrong! Sucks to suck! Okay, I messed up. Um, hold on. Wait, we already saw this one! Uh, cheater! What a cheat! Um, what the heck? Back to bed? Oh my god, Mario Gamer Revolt! Get some rest. Thank you for lurking. I appreciate it. I appreciate you stopping by. Look, he's back to first. I don't really know what happened that made him not in first with the rest of us. What a bizarre time. Oh, I love this song, though! I say this every time. Um, I actually watched... The YouTuber that I used to watch that used Mario Party 6 music all the time yesterday. I was trying to like binge her videos while I was working on craft stuff, but she privated like most of the videos that I would binge. So I'm like, no, because it was like all of her old stuff, which I get it. Like, if you're not comfortable with your like 10 year old, like as in 10 years ago self, and whatever content you were making being on the internet, I totally get it. Um, but the cringer in me was like, oh, I wish she hadn't privated it. <laughs> so, anyway. Um, also, welcome as. Or gibberish guy. Um, I don't want to buy any of this crap. So. Yeah, some of those were kind of hard to tell. And I was, I'm just way too slow with the X button still. After all these years, still suck. Dolly needs her own emote. Jilly needs her own emote. I need... Please don't stop. If this starts up again, I'm done. I can't do this again. I cannot do six battle minigames in a row again. Like, I just can't do it. I don't have it in my soul. By the way, next week... Um... Next week sometime, I don't know what day yet, but I'm going to be releasing the clip show from last year. It was supposed to happen on my channel anniversary. I got really sick. I was unable to finish it. Am I yellow? Yes. Um, I was unable to even start on it in time for the anniversary, which was kind of my fault, but at the same time, like, the time frame I was giving myself to work on it, like, was totally disrupted by sickness. Dang, hundos! Um, so that'll be up next week sometime on YouTube, and I will play it on stream as well. However, you probably won't see it on stream until after it's already been on YouTube, so. <clears throat> Usually I'll do that in the opposite order. Not this time. Uh, thank you for the follow. And 38 nap! Whoa! What the heck are you doing, Fair Square, without telling me? I'm so sorry, Nav. <laughs> fair Square is content. Well, to be fair, we're oh, to be fair, we're only on what is this turn three? I think so. You haven't missed much. You haven't missed much other than the first battle game, which I I'd put money on it. There's probably gonna be a battle game like right right after. Uh. Right! The worst part of battle minigames is they count for minigame star! I don't have that! Like, I'm not that skilled. I'm not confident enough with this. Um, come on. If that were me, I would not. Mm -mm. I've got some some kind of interesting pieces coming to Etsy. Like, I had some UFOs from years ago. Like, I don't know what happened, but... Like, I have a Banjo Bear from when I played Banjo-Kazooie, which was, like, the first game I ever streamed on Twitch when I was becoming, like, a serious streamer. Or when I got serious about streaming full-time instead of making videos for YouTube. I have a Banjo Bear that I just finished. Um... That's from back then. Like, I had the pattern cut out. I just ran out of something and I never... What? Stupid. I never ended up finishing it. I never ended up, like, stuffing and sewing it. I just did machine sewing and that was it. So I have that. So that'll be kind of a throwback item. I have some Toontown pieces that are gonna go up that were, like, pre-made, ready to go, that were kind of reserved for custom orders, but then, like, 
the custom orders I would get for those back when I took commissions for Toontown characters, they were always like cats and dogs. Like, I never got the other animals hardly ever. So, I don't- I had like the snouts of all these other animals like pigs, monkeys, horses, uh, bears, but just not- no one ever like custom one of those. I would get ducks a lot too. But, anyway. So I have like some Toontown stuff coming into the shop. I have some, lots of accessories, lots of like candy jewelry, um, hair accessories for my fellow queens out there. Please don't do it. Okay, good. It didn't do it. It did not do it. It's not a redo. It's fine. Treasure trawlers. Treasure trawlers. Oh shoot, I kind of suck at this one. Ah! Hey, let's go. That is like the ultimate chest. Okay. Ah. So you guys, when I was practicing my cop. No! When I was practicing my cosplay dance, the masquerade dance yesterday. Uh, okay. Why is this not working half the time? <sighs> Took me three times, three attempts before my wig did not fly off. So I'm gonna be a, ner a nervous wreck. They uh, like, oh my god, do I have enough pins in this wig? Let's go with the clutch win. That was kind of unfair. I grabbed it like as he was saying finish. Alright, sweet. So anyway, I gotta pin the crap out of my wig. Found out. Ooh, it's nighttime! Ooh! And the star is now 30? Gross. I don't wanna buy it at 30. That's the move, though. If you drop before zero, it counts. That's, I mean, true. It just kind of sucks for everybody else. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Oh, thank you to, guy to you guys contributing to the easy CPU challenge as well and helping me experiment with uh, channel point redeems for um, collaborations. I appreciate that. I don't know how close we are either. I want to say we're halfway, or at least close to it. Oh, Shy Guy, what you D? Step right up. Uh, I don't... I probably will suck at this. I don't know. Fine, I'll do it. Okay, come on. I gotta get the... Oh, dang! If I get that, it's 40? Come on! I was so close! Uh, so lame. Oh wow! Community challenge 50% complete! Well now it's 50%! Look, right on the money. The game did cheat me out. That was not fair. I should have gotten that. Should have gotten it, but the game hates. <laughs> what can I do? What can I do? Um. So I put together- this is why I'm like so hyped for convention weekend is because I put together the itinerary today. I hadn't sat down and done anything like that. Um, and you know, there's just three of us going so it's a good amount to not have a whole lot to keep track of. I'm used to going to conventions with like 30 people which is like impossible for like anybody to do the same thing at the same time. Um, so that'll be really nice. But I was trying to put together like an itinerary of things that we'll just want to do or things I have to do for cosplay or things uh, to keep, keep an eye out for, that kind of stuff. And I really want to, every year I see it and I never do it and I'm like, oh, or I'm always with people who like don't really want to, or that aren't sure if they want to do it or it's too late like you need a reservation but I think we're gonna try and do a maid cafe at the convention like the convention maid cafe which I've never done before so I think that'll be really fun we're gonna try 
It's one of my new priorities. I'm like, okay, get a made cafe reservation. <laughs> Do it! Do not miss it this time. I think me, I think my sister and I were gonna do it once, but it was like, I think that we could have made a reservation for like an hour later, and we were literally about to starve to death and had some had to be ready for like cosplay stuff, like an hour and a half. Like we were like, okay, it's not gonna work. So like the one time we were gonna do it, it didn't work out, and then the other times it was like there were too many people who weren't really too keen on the idea. Like, I don't think my sister really wanted to do it because, she, my other sister, because she lived in Japan and she's like, it's not gonna be as good. Like, <laughs> like ah! So we're gonna try and go this year. I'm excited. All right, sorry, Toadette. Sucks to suck, I know. So yeah, maid cafe, let's go. Like, you don't have the money for this. Cool, because it's way overpriced. It's not going to be as good, definitely, but I don't care because I wouldn't know any different. I'm like, I, hey, I haven't been to one in any way, shape, or form. I've only seen them online or watched videos of people talking about them or videos at other cons of people participating in them. So I'm like, okay, I need to actually do this for once. I don't care if it's the worst, the dumbest thing ever. I'm doing it. <laughs> So, uh, I'm cosplaying as Rosalina, and Zenonia is gonna be uh, Princess Peach. So, hopefully, we can go to the maid cafe when we're dressed like that, because that would be like the perfect vibe. My cosplay the next day, not as much the perfect vibe. And I was supposed to be Sephiroth, but that didn't work out, and I'm sad. So I just have like a cosplay fund. I actually use the some of the cosplay funds to. For Rosalina instead. I was like, okay, whatever. I'll just like d get. No, I'll do Rosalina sooner because I was. I wasn't even planning on doing Rosalina at this convention. I was planning on debuting that at the Mario movie because I am gonna be cosplaying as her at the Mario movie as well. But it just worked out where Sephiroth didn't happen and Rosalina happened. It was like the the things I found that I was gonna get. Some sold out and some were just not when I reanalyzed it and went to go buy things, it was like, oh wait, that's really not a good idea. That's not gonna work, so. Oh, anyway. Odie's gonna be DK. No, actually he might, I don't know. Odie hasn't decided what he's gonna dress up as for the movie. I don't know that he's dressing up at all this coming weekend. Um, he doesn't have any plans to. It'll be like a last minute thing if he does, but he did get me the perfect shoes, so he's gonna be the the hero of the weekend regardless. So, so no, Odie isn't planning on cosplaying unless he figures something out in the next week, which could happen. There's still time. But he usually doesn't anyway. He's cosplayed a couple times at Con Bravo. Like he did a little Mac cosplay that I thought was adorable. Hey, someone asked for a photo, and I'm like, okay, see? If someone asked for a photo, you've done it. You've, you've done, you've done the job. Um, and then we were supposed to be... I was supposed to be Canada, and he was supposed to be America, because Com Bravo was a convention in Canada that always happened, like, the last week of July, first week of August, around there. So it was after 4th of July, after, um... Canada Day. So it was like, there's all this stuff. So I bought all this American stuff on sale for Odie. He was decked out in, like, the tackiest American garb. Like, red, white, and blue stripe, everything. Like, starry, dumb. Like, it, it was just over the top. Like, gaudy. Whoa! Slim Kirby! Thank you so much for the sub! What's up, Slim? Captain Carl is a NPC toon who owns Diamond Quarterdeck Bank on Barnacle Boulevard, located in Donald's Dock. <laughs> and that's one of my favorite messages you've ever said, Slim. <laughs> Thanks for this hot, uh, hot, uh, play-by-play -play of Captain Carl's whereabouts in Toontown. I really appreciate the <laughs> stupid Diamond Quarterdeck Bank. It's always taken over by cogs. Captain Carl, I will destroy you. 
<laughs> I could tell, Slim. I could tell it was the wiki entry, but I appreciate it. <laughs> Thank you so much for the sub. Anyway, I did too, Pixie. I loved the American getup that he had. It was so absolutely over the top that I loved it. And unfortunately, it was Canada 150 that year, so he was unable to get the same level of Canadian merch, so I was not- I didn't have what I needed to go as Canada, so he went as America, and I just went as something else. I can't remember what I- I think I might have done DDR that day? Maybe that's a lie. I don't know, I definitely dressed as something else, though, because- Wait, where am I going? This way? Oh, duh! Ah, uh, why would I go this other way? Okay, anyway. Um... I know that was the same year that I did Banjo. Maybe that was when I debuted Banjo. That doesn't seem right. No, maybe that is right. I think it was Banjo in 64. Maybe I did do DDR that year as well. Or maybe I didn't do anything because I was supposed to be Canada on one of the days. I don't remember. Go. I don't recall. No. Never figured this one out. No. I will destroy Captain Carl. Oh my gosh. I can't do this. Yeah, I sort of figured out how to do it. Oh no, 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 no. Okay, well, I got better and it still wasn't good enough, so sorry. I don't think I've ever won this minigame either, Dark Star. If I had, it was one of those like one and done, never again kind of deals. Good, good idea, but the controls just do not reflect what they could be. That's just like the tea. Oh man, fair square. Why you gotta be so fair? Anyway, um, I'm really excited to cosplay and to just be at a con again after all these years. So I'm probably going to continue to talk about it. If she gets this again, I'm going to be so- The game cheats! The game lets her win and not me! I don't understand. Marianne, welcome! How's it go- Well, feeling low today. Well, if that doesn't sound like it's going great, but hey. We're here to lift your spirits up. Hopefully your night gets better for you. But welcome to the stream. Thanks for being here with us. Let me see if there's anything good in here. Um, I'm just gonna wait. Well, that was stupid. Of course I will. Can I buy more than one or is that only at night? Uh, no, I can't buy more than one. It's just like sometimes it's super cheap at night. Okay, well. Poop butt stink. Yeah, I'm with Bree. Hope the stream gets your mind off of things at least. Streams are my therapy when it comes to that kind of stuff. <laughs> uh She's so tired. How come I got Shy Guy and these other people are getting Koopa? Is that just the day versus night thing? No, the game cheated him too. I don't feel as bad now. At least I know that um, it wasn't just me. But How's everyone's week and Friday? Yes, how was everybody's week? And how was everybody's Friday? My, like I said, my week... 
Oh my gosh, my week was great. I'm just now, I'm like, what happened this week? It was Valentine's Day week. It was mine and um, Odie's very first Valentine's Day spent, <clears throat> excuse me, together in person. Oh my gosh, Daisy, you're so dumb. Why? It took us over six years, but we finally got to be together in person. Which was just very surreal. And it was so, so nice. Odie spoiled me big time. Ooh! Daisy coming in clutch! I was like, what is she doing over there? But it actually helped. Um, so yeah, it took us six years, but we finally got to spend it together in person. And Odie got me the most beautiful bouquet of flowers. Um, chocolates. You can't go wrong with flowers and chocolates, ever. I got a new Squishmallow. Some little goodies. I posted it all on Twitter. I mean, probably a lot of you already saw this, but... And I posted it on Instagram as well. I just posted it on social media. Um, and then, nothing good was playing in the movie theater. There were, like, no good movies out, so we just came home and had a movie night. We watched whatever... I can't even... I don't even know if I know the name of it, but we watched whatever the new Netflix movie is that has, like... Reese Witherspoon and Ashton Kutcher in it, which why is Ashton Kutcher Mark Ruffalo now? Like, he just looks like a completely different person to me. I don't know, maybe he's had a lot of plastic surgery, but he just looked like skinny. Like, or, I don't know. That was just very strange. Oh my god, we had so many conversation hearts. So many. I opened a brand new bag, like, the day before. Um, I'm still shocked. Uh, we were going to, honestly, Bree. I would love to see Magic Mike. I do want to see Magic Mike, but the only showtime was like in the afternoon. Like, I think it was during our dinner reservation. Like, we had a dinner reservation um, around like six o'clock and it was like all the movies, like their last showing was like 6.30, 7. I'm like, what? Why? I don't know, but... Yeah. The third Magic Mike is on Hulu? Already? That seems a little fast. I've seen the other Magic Mike movies, but not the newest one. I think, Bree, you were the one telling me that, like, didn't you say, like, a co-worker of yours, they took, like, play money and threw it at the screen during the movie or something? Which is fantastic. I love that. But yeah, like, there was nothing worth seeing at the time that we could have gone to the theater. That was my old boss! <laughs> That's great. Um, it was also just like this week had some really beautiful weather here. It was like very teaser spring weather. So we actually like went outside, went to the park, like went on a hike, like literally did very spring weather things on those warm weather days. And it was just so lovely to get outside and walk and get out in the fresh air. And that was like, that wasn't Valentine's Day, that was just like two other days this week. So it was just so, so, so nice. We took a little bit of a shopping day. Nature shopping, you know, my two favorite things. Oh, sweet. I'm Odin and I didn't even know what I was doing, really. Um, and it was just like a great week. It was so, so nice and so much fun. Got to hang out with Slim Kirby during the week. We hadn't been able to hang out in, like, months because I had been sick or there were too many, like, crazy things happening around the holidays to where it never worked out, but so that was nice to see Slimbo. And Friday, uh, yesterday, really, was, like, super productive with lots of sewing, lots of crocheting and getting things done for cosplay, obviously, that took, like, the whole day. Um... And then today has been more of that, but also convention planning and talking to in-laws, Big Zenonia, talked to her earlier, planning for the con. So it's been a lot of fun. It's been a fun week, for sure. Been productive, but like in s such fun ways. Cool. I love a one. But I, lo I love Channing Tatum, too. Or as my old self called him, Chatham Tanning, because I knew so well. 
<laughs> oh, what? Ashton Kutcher was diagnosed with a super rare illness? I thought he just looked like that because maybe he had had a battle with, like, drugs or alcohol at some point. Plus plastic surgery because he just looks totally different to me. Um... Oh, this is so much easier on the Switch. No. Oh, well. I'll try and cheese it as much as I can. I'm gonna try. Yo, Channing Tatum is hot. I agree. Hottie! Ooh. Plus, I just tend to like his movies. It's like one of those actors that I tend to like what he does. Oh my god, this is so much harder to cheese! I sucked. I, I tried to do the cheese method and it did not work, so I should have just tried regular. I don't know why, but I just don't like Channing Tatum's face! No! <laughs> How good she breathes! Oh, that's hilarious. I mean, hey. That's why we all have different tastes, right? Good thing, or else we'd all be after the exact same person all the time. Um, another game I've never won before. I have won this one, but definitely not trying the Switch method. 40? I'm not paying this. I'm not buying a star for 40, I'm sorry. Also, I don't even have 40. Um, so then I assume I don't like him or his movies, which actually isn't true, but I have to push myself past the first. Or pa past that first. Sorry. I know how to read, I swear. Um, this game favors Daisy. Cool. I tend to like his movies. I She's the Man is one of my favorite movies. He's hilarious in that. Um, I watched 21 Jump Street and... Is the sequel just 22 Jump Street? Okay, I was like, I don't know if that's the sequel name or not or if I just made that up, but... Uh, Odie and I watched that last year, those, both those- he'd already seen them, but I had never seen those. Um, Magic Mike is always a fun time. Unless you're- I don't know why my mom thought this, and so did my sister Toach. I'm like, what is wrong with you guys? They thought Magic Mike, the first movie, was a documentary, and I was like, it has, like, no! No! I'm like, what? No! Uh-uh. Mm -mm. That is not a documentary. <laughs> they watched it and said, was it a documentary? And I'm like, what movie were you guys watching? Because at no- what? Why would this ever be a documentary? I'm sorry, but, like, just because Channing Tatum is a dancer? No. And... Oh my god. The other super famous dude in it that was the manager that's name is escaping me at the moment. Why can I not think of his name? Matthew McConaughey. No! Oh, I'm so bad at this. Get out of my way! I hate this. Oh, oh my god, I barely made it. Like, what were they thinking? <laughs> I made fun of them so much after they told me this. <clears throat> so much fun of them. Just in time! I just don't know where they got this idea that that was a documentary! <laughs> or even a mockumentary! Like... So, I'm gonna continue to- Madam Mom, if you're lurking, I'm making fun of you for thinking that Magic Mike was a documentary at first because I don't understand. <laughs> also, I went to Walmart on Black Friday to get Magic Mike for $2 once. That's like the only time I've ever been to Walmart on Black Friday and it was for Magic Mike. It was also at like 9pm, so like it was busy but it wasn't like chaotic. So dumb. So worth it, though. Um... <laughs> I feel like Magic Mike's one of those movies I would turn on and watch, and my mom's like, Are you watching Magic Mike? And not like sus, like judging me, but like she wanted to watch it too. 
That movie for her with me was like, Mom, Brokeback Mountain again? I have seen this sex scene like a hundred times. Like, I never need to see it again. Like, why are you what? I would hear dun 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 like every day of my life. And I'm like, Mom, why are you watching Brokeback Mountain again? <laughs> Brokeback Mountain again? She's like, it's so good. It was just like on all the time. And every time it was on, she'd turn it on. And then one time I had stayed up. This was when I lived with my mom. I don't know how this happened, but I turned on the movie Point Break. She makes fun of me for this, by the way. I don't know and why she makes fun of me, I don't know. But I turned on Point Break at like 2 o'clock in the morning and I got totally sucked in. And I couldn't stop watching. And I was up until 4 a.m. watching this movie. Like, I could not just be like- I was- I even recorded it! I was like, I'll just watch it later. No. I had to watch the whole thing. And my mom comes out at like 3.30 a.m. You know, my mom's a big night owl, by the way. She's not your typical, like, oh my god, I'm in bed by 9. Ever. Ever in my life. Never. My mom stays up later than I do, 9 times out of 10. Like, that's just the kind of- she's a big night owl kind of person she is. We're all big night owls in my family. And you can ask Bree, she can confirm it. I could call my mom at like 1am and she'd be like, oh hey, what's up? Like, not at all like your typical like, oh my god, and I'm in my pajamas at 6pm and I'm in bed by not Never. Never. So, um, anyway, but... So she comes out and she's like, point break? And I'm like, mom, <laughs> don't judge me. <laughs> this is such BS. I'm going this way. Um... Oh yeah, 100% your mom almost always went to bed after we did. Exactly. We'd be going to IHOP at 2 a.m. And she's like, oh, where are you guys going? <laughs> like, no big deal. No, whatever. <sighs> so yeah. Whenever I see the, like, memes online that are like, now I want to be in bed by 9 p.m. I'm like, can't relate. Probably won't ever. <laughs> Probably will never relate. Or like, um, if you guys know, or even if you don't, I sing in my church's choir, okay? Which I have not been singing in lately because I slash everybody else has been sick. And I just, I have been staying up way too late. Like, I cannot get it up in the morning for like an early morning mass right now. That's just not healthy for me. Um, and, but like on midnight mass at Christmas... Hey! Like, everybody else is like, oh, it's so late, like, it's so hard to sing right now. And I'm like, are you kidding me? Like, this is my time to shine. Like, this is the this is the easy mass for me, is Midnight Mass. It's the easy one. So it's so funny. It's like opposite. I'm like, my mom is, I know my mom feels the same way. I know, I wish I could still be a night owl. I mean, it sucks, like, if you're... That's the thing, like a lot of people, their job, their schedule requires them not to be a night owl, but by nature, a lot of people are. It's just society doesn't accept it as like a time for work, whatever. That's why I'm really glad that I can set my own schedule. Anyway. Go for, how's it going by the way? I don't think um, I said hi to you yet. I used to, for my job I had before COVID, I would have to get up at like, I would have to be at work at 6 a.m. sometimes because it was like, um, I would have to pull orders at work before the store opened. And that was a time. Like, I can get up early if I need to, like, or especially if it's for something that I want to do. Like, I could get up early for dance competition, no problem. I could get up early for, like, stuff like that. But just, like, on the regular, no. So for that to be, like, a regular schedule, I was just, like, not feeling that. That was really catching up with my body after a while. In this magical and mysterious game, you can transform one star into three. Sure, I don't know. Alright, why not? We're, we're just gonna risk all the biscuits. Alright, shell game. 
Oh god. My eyes did not follow that. I'm probably gonna lose. Okay. Ooh, I lost because I suck. Uh, I was in the complete wrong spot. Well, that blows. Okay, well, whatever. It's fine. It's fine. Beagle boy, how's it going? I know, that was hard to see. I, like, could not tell what, was I, what I was even looking at. Um, Armand, thank you for the hydrate. I got it wrong, too! Gosh, that was tough. It was worth it, though. I would try it again. I don't even know. You decide. Coins. Let's do like. What? Oh, fine. I'll just do like 10 coins. Wait, why does she have five stars? The thing is, if I lose though, she will have six stars, so. Whatever, we'll just play it safe for the moment. I already lost a star this turn. I do not need to lose another star. Sumo of Dumo. Oh my god, I don't even know how to do this. I really- ah! I don't know how to do it. I <laughs> Too bad! Okay, well... Good thing I did not put a star on the line because that would have been the worst game for that. 10 out of 10. Whoa, just got a twin stick. I tried and I sucked. I don't know. Whoa, Madam Mom, welcome to the stream, to the stream. Um. <laughs> Circuit Maximus. What? I don't know. Yeah, her ears were burning. We were just talking about you, Madam Mom, and how you used to watch Brokeback Mountain like every day of my life. Actually, that wasn't even the last thing we were talking about. I was talking about being a night owl. I would say everybody in my family by nature is a night owl. Because of work or whatever, they might be forced to do other things, but we're all night owls. Oh, I heard it. Oh, okay. Good. Just making sure. <laughs> Uh. Isn't there an extended version of that minigame in the extras mode? Like the one we just played? It's been a long time since I played the extras mode, so I honestly don't remember. I don't re remember. Um, what turn is this? 13. Okay, 13 going on 30. Wait, what? Oh, okay. I was like, I set the turns to 25. I guess I did, because I was like, oh, I'll do a little less than 30 just because sometimes these boards take longer. That's true. Daisy has five stars because it's fair square. I, th I can't catch a break. Meanwhile, this guy keeps letting Daisy win. And last time it was night... Last time we got a rule that for the star, it was 40. Oh, I spoke too soon. He does not keep letting her win after all. Um, anyway. Oh! Ooh. Give me that seven. I'm still going this way? I feel like I've been going this way forever. Oh, I didn't even realize this was a thing. Okay, fine. I'll go up. I don't even know how much it is either. I need to, uh, find out. Which we'll probably find out now because Waluigi's turn. 20 coins. Oh, it's- uh, never mind. It's always 20 during the day. I wanna buy two. Ooh! Koopa was on to us? I guess. Plus two. So I gotta test my makeup this weekend. I'm actually testing... You can't really tell on camera because camera 
removes like so much makeup from your face even when you're wearing it but um i have to do pretty natural makeup for my rosalina cosplay <laughs> natural you know uh i'm gonna have to make it like a glam version of natural but i'm also going to be doing probably just like mostly like false eyelashes is what i'm gonna use like a pretty natural eye with cat liner on the top and big false eyelashes she does have really big eyelashes but i was like oh i need to test like a natural look so i just did that today it's gonna be super easy and then tomorrow, I'm gonna be testing my makeup partially, uh, most, mostly, I should say mostly, I'm gonna test my makeup tomorrow during my Just Dance stream for my cosplay masquerade, because it's very much like a glam look, because it's a crossplay, so I always do that over the top, for sure. Um, nothing feels more empowering than buying f five stars when it's 40 coins? Ooh. I would rather just buy five for five. I should bl add blue under eyeshadow. I'll probably use blue eyeliner is what I'll do. Cause I do have a really pretty like light blue eyeliner. I'm gonna experiment a little bit more later tonight, like before I wash my face, just so I can try different things on each eye. I didn't want to have two different eyes during the stream, but. I'm gonna try a couple things. Um, I want it to be very, like, glittery, too. Like, um, I'll probably use some, like, face glitter and some, like, my gold Spongebob highlighter. You know the one, but... Oh, Darkstar, I'm glad! The next one's tomorrow. For anybody who didn't get the announcement earlier, my next Just Dance stream is tomorrow night at 8 o'clock Eastern. 8 p.m., not a.m. I will not be live at 8 a.m., but... Tomorrow night at 8 p.m. Eastern, we're gonna be just dancing. Would Daisy be my next princess to cosplay? Um... She'd be the easiest as far as my hair and stuff, because I wouldn't have to wear a wig, but... She's like my least favorite, so probably not. You know what I would do a cosplay of her as though? I would do Tennis Daisy. That's what I would do. If I did a Daisy cosplay, it would be from Mario Tennis on the N64. Oh, come on! You don't need my money! Um, no, I think what I would do next is probably a... Uh, I know I used to tease about this all the time, but I would probably do a... Uh, What's her name? Pauline cosplay, I think, would be really fun. Um, but Roro is my favorite princess, so, like, Rosalina is the vibe, for sure. I love how the dress turned out. I don't really have plans to do any of the other princesses. I just want to, like, represent Rosalina, because she's my favorite and she's the best, but... Um, I wouldn't be opposed to doing a peach cosplay either, just because I love pink, but I, if I'm gonna do, like, a blonde, cute girl, I'd rather do Rosalina, so. This minigame is so cute. What? Dang! Daisy killed it. Rosalina's your favorite Mario character. I love her. She's my favorite of the girls. For sure. Those are like my three favorites. Wario, Toad, and Rosalina. I also... I would want to do... Before I would do any of the other girls from Nintendo, I would do... Or from, sorry, the Mario universe, I would do Samus. Because I love her too. But she's kind of overdone. So it's like, uh. I don't really know that. And she's also blonde, so it's like, ah, uh, whatever. 
Um, I could do, you know what I could do is I could do like Princess Toadstool with the brown hair too. What am I doing? One star, I guess, since I gave like all my money to Daisy for some reason. No, I want more than one. Give me a discount. Um. Anyway. Um, I guess I'll go around. It's gonna be nighttime soon. Can't hear you. The background of my place is too loud. Well, I don't know what to tell you, Drift Looney. Tell everybody to shut up. <laughs> well, look at you winning, Waluigi. What did he win? 10? I didn't look at the amount. 15. Um. So yeah, I'm probably going to be representing this uh, Rosalina cosplay for a while. Because I'm really proud of it. I love it. It's so comfortable. Um, I made the entire like dress and everything from scratch. So like... None of it's pieced. It's all like made by me, so I'm very proud of it. So I probably won't worry about any other, like, ah, that's the wrong button. Nintendo characters for a while. I still have my, like, Wario Golf stuff, too. But I'd rather represent that in the summer. At a, at a summer convention, which, lol, what are those? Because everything's always, like, in the middle of winter. But... Um, hey, shut up! Madam Wario streamy! Is the, is the movie Brokeback Mountain? <laughs> okay, please be five this time for me. Five, five, five. Oh. I don't want to pay 30! Might as well be Pixie. It might as well be 500. Um, that just reminds me. This is so stupid that that would remind me of this Pixie. But Odie and I were talking about the Indy 500 yesterday, which also leads me to talk about this to Bree in chat. And I was thinking, I got the song uh, from I, I got the I need a hero. I'm looking up on here. I got this stuck in my head for some reason the other day, and I don't know. I guess I was thinking of Shrek too, but I got it stuck in my head, and I thought about when Bree and I had to be in the Indy 500 parade, dancing to that dumb song, doing the dumbest dance ever, like so dumb. And I, the the lady who choreographed it. They, like, called her in specifically to do this, and it was because, oh, she used to, like, perform in Disney World. And I didn't connect the dots until, like, two days ago when I was thinking about this. That, okay, I also worked in Disney World. I saw the parades. I watched the parades constantly. I know what the perf performances were like. I auditioned to be in the parades. I, I went through that audition. And nowhere in those parades was the choreography even remotely like what we did. And it was like we would be... You would be, like, miming as a character in those parades, or if you were dancing, it was like you would stop and do a segment, and then you would keep walking and just, like, wave and smile and, yeah, like, maybe, like, ooh, you know, like, if you've ever watched the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade, they have the stage that people run up to and they stop on, they do a little performance, but a lot of the time, if there's just a singer, people are just, like, clapping and, like, you know, they're not doing anything. And for some reason, our studio was like, let's have these weird, horribly choreographed dances that you're gonna walk in this much space alongside a flow. Why did this woman do this? Like, it was not good. Like, it wasn't even, like, I need a hero. Mm, mm, mm. Like, what, what are we doing? All we needed to do is wave. <laughs> like, all we needed to do is wave. I'm so mad about it now, and it's so, so dumb because it was so long ago, 
Um, and I feel like this woman was just tripping, like, living the dream, not on the same page as anybody else. If I am gonna land on that space, I am not going that way. One, two, three, four, fives. No, I won't. Okay. <sighs> I always assume they gave her the Indy 500 because they knew she sucked and didn't want to give her anything better and that we didn't care that much about the parade. I just don't know why we had these rehearsals. Like, why we had to do these dances next to a flow. Period. Like, why couldn't we have just, like... We should have had, like, wave, wave, and then when the chorus came on, have, like, two counts of eight repeated. Like, so it was a four counts of a of this specific like little like matching arms or something like it didn't even need to be anything oh my god makes me mad still <laughs> i don't know it makes me mad still because it's so dumb so so ridiculous What? What was the point of this? Alright, where's chance time? That's what I need right now. I honestly need chance time so I can put a stop to this undeserved chaos. This little obnoxious... She is so obnoxious. She does not deserve this. <laughs> Daisy, I don't understand. What is even happening? There's nothing even going on. Okay. What? Hi, Julie. You clean and you stink so. Guys, you want to know what Jilly did yesterday? Odie and I were just, you know, having a classic night of watching some Degrassi before bed. She knocks off my bell doll from the back of the couch. Be the Beast and Belle are sitting together on the back of our couch. Beast is from Disney World, our honeymoon. Belle is from Disney on Ice, our anniversary, okay? I kept the tag on my bell doll because it says Disney on Ice in pink princess letters and it's so cute. So I kept the tag on for memories. Jilly knocks my bell doll stealthily, I didn't even notice this, off the couch and chews up the tag on the floor as we're watching the show. Why did she need to do this? Like, she's chewing up my bell tag that I'm trying to preserve. I can't preserve my own bell tag. So now it's all Jillitude. <laughs> like, why would she need to do that? that? That's my question. Why would she need to do this? She doesn't. I am so so done with whatever is going on. I am so done with this game. I'm done with whatever is happening. This favoritism. <laughs> She's, yeah, she doesn't seem too bothered about it though. Probably because she isn't. Oh my goodness. What am I landing on? Blue. I'll take it. <laughs> Julie's in her defiant era. Yeah. Exactly. Ghost fishy. How's it going? Welcome to the chat. I agree. I don't really understand. Like, it's impossible to come back. I'm gonna have to get a chance time or something. Surge and destroy. What a name. What a name. Sucked at that. Okay, so did I. Whoops. She did. She jillichewed. <laughs> oh. She 
bitch, Jill Chew. Oh, you see that tease? Finish. Let's go, Waluigi. Alright, cool. Good, because I'm gonna need more coins. Now I can buy two stars. And still be losing by like seven stars. Great. Can't wait! <sighs> Man, that treasure chest is worth 90. Okay, but Toadette didn't even try, so I guess, cool. Enjoy your, uh, 30? I mean, that's, that's okay. I wouldn't complain, but what the heck, there was 90. Alright, where are the chance time spaces? That's what I need to look for. If you... No. How do I... There we go. Um, there's one. Okay, there's one right there. There's... None up here. None over here. Is there seriously one chance time space? There's quite literally one chance time space. I'm going for it. I don't care. I am headed. I am going into the forest! I'm going for that chance time space. I don't... Sure. Okay. Because I am not spending 40 on this star. I'm just not. I'm not I'm not spending it. I'm not going to. Oh no. Huh. Interesting. Cute little like Halloween-y kind of decorations at night. Kind of a fun little vibe. I think I pointed that out last time. I played through this, which would have been a long time ago. Same as lame. But I, it, I seem to recall this. Is this the first mini game we got again? Yes. Wait, no. I don't know. Oh no, this is the one where you can't press the same button. Okay. What are the options here? A, B, L, R. Ooh, everybody gets to go. Okay. Oh, nobody gets to go. Come on, Daisy! Screw you! Go jump. Off of something. I don't know. Try to be creative. Go jump! Just in general. Jump until you're passed out or something. I'm gonna lose this at this rate. There's no way. People really like my choices. I could cosplay as Waluigi. I could definitely cosplay as Waluigi. Honestly, I've done more Pokemon than I've done Mario characters, which is kind of funny. I did um, dress as my icon way back when. This was like at PAX East, the original, which was in like 2012. So that was like over 10 years ago. I cosplayed as my icon, my M-Dub icon, but... And I did Golf Wario. I did that on stream during the pandemic. St. Jude. Oh, look! She's a witch now. Good. Um, what else did I do? I think that's it. I don't even think I've uh, cosplayed as anyone else. Mario. Okay, sure. Great. I remember when I cosplayed as Flareon? Well, how could I forget? That was the first, um... Cosplay award I ever won. So that was super fun. 
I love that cosplay. I still have all the the epic pieces from that. So, like, I still have my wig from that. I still have the fur furry, like, coat. Which can be... I've been meaning to, like, use it to be, like, Kazooie at some point since I've been Banjo. But, um... I have both those pieces, which are the iconic pieces from that cosplay. Still have the ears, because I made those. Hold on. Six? I don't know. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, sure. I'm on a mission here. That is not going to complete my mission. I have to go this way. Okay, um... I don't have the dress anymore. I have the tights. I don't have the dress anymore because I was like, I'm probably not. I'm probably gonna do this differently if I ever do this cosplay again or up, upgrade something else. Anyway. I cosplayed as Hermione for the Harry Potter movie. I also cosplayed as Hermione for the first. Like, the first couple Harry Potter films, when they released in theaters, so I'm the same age. I was the same age as, like, Harry was supposed to be as he was growing up at the time of the movies and as the actors, so that was fun. Super duper fun! I've done a lot of Harry Potter cosplays. Um, and costumes in general, but... Somehow, I've not done as many Mario cosplays. I think it's because my sister, like, used to have an annual, like, Harry Potter costume party. That's, like, I would always try to do something different, but... Alright. Oh, I like this one. I like this game. Take pictures of Goombas! Uh, oh, shoot. Oh, oh, there's a shy guy back there! I got a bonus for Shy Guy? I didn't know there was a Shy Guy bonus in this! Oh my god, that's so cute. I had no idea. No, Rainbow Road. I did not cosplay as Bellatrix Lestrange once. I cosplayed as her about eight or nine times, so... <laughs> that is like... That's my first, like, official cosplay. And I debuted it at school. Funnily enough for an event at my university. Um, and then it just proceeded to be at every con and every costume party and it's like my backup costume when I need one and don't have one. That's like the easiest one to do um, for me because I've done it so many times. Michael Jackson's also a backup costume for if I need a quick costume for a party or something. Okay, yes, I'm gonna use this. And it's a whole vibe. Yes, that is my backup costume as well as... Michael Jackson's probably the easiest, though. Like, that's the easiest to throw together last second. Okay, one mission. Well, that's stupid, but I don't care. Um... Yeah, like, look at how cute the little pumpkin with, like, the witch hat on. And obviously, like, the witch thing. I guess I forgot that this was kind of like a Halloween-ish board. Um, not re I mean, it's not obvious, but, like, very subtly. Or else I probably would have pushed it. Although, when did we didn't even see this till Christmas time. There would have been no good time to push this before Halloween last year. Whatever, it's Halloween in February. Deal with it. Monty! Monty's so cute in these GameCube games. Like, he just looks so different. Speaking of... Oh! Monty's crap. And groundhogs and stuff. I'm so sad because Odie told me that on Groundhog's Day, the Montreal Groundhog passed away on Groundhog's Day. Like, that is the saddest thing. I'm like, seriously? No. No. So sad. 
I love the aesthetic of this board too, and I always forget that it's this board because Fair Square does not sound like the name of a board that would be what it is, I guess. Oh, Jilly! <laughs> I wonder if Jilly's having dreams about my water bottle. Jilly loves water. And when Slim was over, she was fascinated by his water bottle. Like, it was the most amazing thing that he could have brought over, ever. She loved it. She was really into it. She had to see that water bottle. Like, oh, maybe it's for her. Alright, I need to land on this chance time. Um, water in general, Phantom. She just loves it. Like, she will go- I catch her playing in her water bowl all the time. Like, constantly. I would love to get her one of those, like, cat drinking fountains. But I couldn't get it. I couldn't get her one in this space. It would have to go on, like, a screened-in porch or something because it would- there would be water everywhere all the time. Like, it would be nuts. Dang! Cleaning up, Toadette! Um, so, that would not work in the space because there'd be water all over the floor everywhere that we're walking and, you know, whatever. But, uh, she does love running water too, but, like, she loves what I pour from the water filter pitcher into her water bowl. That's, like, oh my god, so exciting. And she just loves water in general, though. Like, she will go take... There are these little sparkly pom-poms that those are her favorite toys. She'll go dip them in her water bottle. Her water bottle. Her water bowl. They're soaking wet. She will dip them in her water bowl. Can I... You know what? I'm gonna do it again. I don't care. I'm... I, I really don't have anything to lose at this point. I'm already losing. But she loves it. Okay. Yeah, let's go! Okay. That was easier. That was at least easier. Still was a little tricky, but... Okay, this could be decent, I guess. DK bonus! Of course Daisy got a star when she got the DK bonus. No, she she's so smart. So Jilly dips her little sparkly balls in her water bowl, brings them to me. She loves to play fetch, so she'll bring them to me soaking wet. Because she knows that they fly faster and further if they're wet. Because there's more weight to them. She's smart. She knows. <laughs> she loves it. You love it, don't you, Julie? I'm talking about you. She's like, oh my god, you're talking about me. <laughs> what? Way, Daisy. Get out of my way. This mini game is too long. Like, way too long. That, the minigame is just way too long. It is. Anyway. Uh. Jilly's so smart, she just got a 10 million on the SATs, did you? Look at her upside down, you guys. You flipped upside down for them, because you know we're talking about you. She's like, oh my gosh, everybody's talking about me. Yeah, everybody loves that Jilly. Okay, please be five. Five, 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 five. Yes, let's go! Okay, good. This is my moment. 
This is my moment! Um... I also need to... Roll, like, a two, I think, this turn, is what I need. What are you doing? Why didn't you go around in a circle, you idiot? I don't know what she's doing. Okay. Dang it, I need that slow true. Hold on. Uh... Two. Yeah, I need literally two. Give me a two. That, that's not a two? Okay, it's fine. I at least get a star. Yes. Yes. Give me ten. I can't buy that many. I can only buy five. Alright, well, give them to me. <laughs> Give me the five. Honestly, this could make a big difference. If Daisy doesn't get over here, this could be... monumental. In my journey of winning this board, potentially. Um, this could be really good. Give me five. Oh, Jilly, did you curl back up? She's like, okay, I'm done being upside down. Um, so Daisy could be stupid, because she is, and just not go the right way, like Toadette, who's also stupid, apparently. Um, we'll see, though. Dang it, I wanted po Pokey Punch Out! Note to self. This is one of those games I should like, and I don't, because I'm terrible at it. Get out from under my feet! So stupid. I do like the nightscape of this, though. Like, it's just so cute at night. Ah! Oh wow, barely, barely won that. <sighs> she may be done being upside down, but I'm not, ooh. <sighs> um, Armand, I have not done one thing to mess with my hair. So, <laughs> so it's always just been its natural color. Um, when I got my hair cut in the, in the summer, this would have been back in, like, July, um, I got lowlights, like, very subtle, like, it was a little bit darker, but it wasn't, I mean, it, it was dark, it did look darker, but that's just, like, kind of faded with time, they're still in there somewhere, but it mostly looks, like, you can't tell as much now, is what I'm trying to say. So, I- but I have not done one thing to my hair since, so this is just the same natural color it's been since whenever. <laughs> um, it might just look different because I had it in braids. I had like two French braids because that's usually what I do when I put a wig on. Uh, because I have pretty thick hair and usually very long hair. I mean, it's not nearly as long as it has been over the years, but since I got it cut and last summer, but, like, I'll put it in, like, two French braids, and then I'll pin it. Um, so, that way it goes under my wig cap, and it's, like, very flat to my head, instead of, like, just, you know, it's, it's too long to do anything else. If I do a bun, it's, like, a big growth, so that doesn't work. Um, oh, what do I want to do? Hold on. Can I... I hate pressing the wrong button all the time. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. Yes, I will go this way. Ah! Oh my gosh! Jimmy Wetzel! Thank you so much for the raid, Rita. Uh, welcome in, Raiders! Hope you're having a good evening! It's a Mario party! Um, thank you so much for the raid. I really appreciate it. Can I get a big shout out? Playing Kingdom Hearts 358 over two days. 
Thank you so much for the raid. Welcome raiders. Welcome everybody. Thank you for all the follows. I'm Madam Wario. I'm a variety Nintendo lover here on Twitch. And I'm extremely partial to Mario Party. Every Friday night is Friday Night Mario Party. Uh, this week we're doing Mario Party 6. Next time it'll be Mario Party 7. Uh, thank you so much. Thank you for the raid. I really appreciate that. We're just about to have a comeback, by the way. We are just about to have a comeback. Um, because it's been kind of a tough, <laughs> tough game. Uh, can't stick around. No problem. I totally understand. Love the Mario Party GameCube era. It's so good. It's such a good era. I love it as well. Although, I'll be honest, I'm totally biased and I've never met a Mario Party I didn't like but I do have my favorites. But no, all the ones on the GameCube are great. Thank you so much for bringing your community over here. All the love to your community. Always appreciated. Um, but yes, take care of yourself. Do what you need to do. Totally get it. Uh, thank you so much for the raid. Uh, Rich Lich, thank you so much for being here as well as PK Madrigal. Did I say this wrong? Maybe. I love these... Uh, Toads, oh my god, I love Toadsworth so much, too. I love Toadsworth. He's not in enough games. He's just not. He needs to be represented more. Okay. Um, I probably need to hold off on- Well, actually, no, I can- I can still afford the star if I buy Goomba. I'm gonna buy Goomba. Um, or afford multiple stars. Sorry, I should be. Um, more clear on that. Thank you for all the follows. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much. Yes, bring back Toadsworth. 2023, let's go. <laughs> let's go! I say this every, every time we play this game, but I love that there's always a little game cube on display in the shops. That's in Mario Party 7, too. We've only gotten like one battle mini game. I am shocked. Last time we got like 400 battle mini games. Way too many. Toadsworth in the movie. I. Oh shoot. I don't know. I honestly don't know. Oh my god. So. I watched it and I still messed up. Yes. Okay, that should have been better, but I was a little slow at the start. Parky Mount, welcome to the chat. Welcome to the stream. Welcome to the party. Welcome on in. Okay, this is my moment. This is my moment. I'm covering up this daisy space. I'm buying five stars. I am taking back my crown. That's what's happening on this turn. I am taking back my crown. And Daisy can suck it. Anyway. Lily Lang, welcome to the stream! It's her time to shine! Toadette's making a comeback, too! I'm just glad that, um... The tables have turned a little bit here, and it's not just like, Wow, everybody's here, and then Daisy is just like on another level somehow. Okay. I gotta use the Scoopa. That's right, get a one. Sucks to suck, honey. Okay, I need to use this on the Stacy space. And I'm gonna use my other orb on the Toadette space. Oh, hey, I got my money back for that, basically. I'm gonna buy five stars. This is what's happening. Five stars. I want to purchase five. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Oh my god, I loved Rihanna's Super Bowl performance. It was just like a classic performance, you know? Like, song and dance, that's all you need. Didn't have any weird gimmicks or anything. I mean, other than, like, her being suspended into the air, which was super cool. 
and talk about Fearless, like, dang. I thought it was awesome. Um, plus, it's a, yeah, like, it had been a long time since she last performed, right? I liked it. I liked it a lot. And I loved how many dancers were represented. I'm always a big fan of dancers getting representation. It was just great. It was great to have that many dancers, like, as part of it. Ooh, dropping mines on people. Don't do this. That's not nice. Except I will... Wait, what am I doing? Why am I running over here like this? Wait, why is she screaming? I didn't even touch her. Why did I choke? I had the ultimate opportunity and I messed up. Oh yeah, I won. Um. Poop. Oh well. How many turns are left? Two? I don't know. I don't know how many turns are left. Stars are now 20. Oh my gosh. Okay, great. Oh, the one! One turn left. One turn. And we may not have gotten chance time, but we did get what we needed. To become the champ, hopefully. Dang, look at that jackpot! She's not going for it, but I would have gone for it. It has 110 coins! We made a pretty nice comeback. Even if we don't win the game, which hopefully we do, but even if we don't... I'm just happy that we are in the running. Like, there was no way before I had like one star. So we're at least in the running now. There we go. Cool beans. Okay, I'm gonna use this. It won't matter, but whatever. Oh no, I can't go back to the Toadette space! Okay, where am I gonna stop? Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, or three, four, five, six. Ooh. Okay, this could be good. Cause this is that little game, right? Um, I'm gonna say no, just cause I don't want anybody else to get anything, but I at least get a happening space this way. So, I'm sorry to be a party pooper, but I'm not gonna do it. It's not worth it on the last turn, because it could just screw us over. Alright, Waluigi and Dead Last- Come on, he has to win the jackpot. Dang it, you didn't go for it! Mm-mm. Daisy kept having all the luck with both stars and coins for some reason. It's really not fair. Alright, lift leapers. Man, I was really hoping we'd get catch you letter, because that's such a cute game. So so cute. Go. What? I definitely jumped high enough. I could be a little bit better at this. That's the way to do that. Ah! I keep pressing A like right after I should have. Okay. 
Yay! I feel like Waluigi was right there and he somehow screwed it up. I don't know how, but... He definitely just fell right before the end. Alright. Um, so if Daisy gets all three bonuses, then she'll win because she has more coins than I do. Otherwise, I think I'm pretty much... Uh, other than that, I'm in a really good spot. Ooh, 69, Toadette. Okay. Minigame goes to... Ooh, let's go! She didn't get a clean sweep. We're good. We won! Woohoo! That just, like, that's our victory right there. That's all we needed. Oh, dang, really? Orb Star, too? I wasn't thinking about that. Oh, this could be it, too, because of that last turn. I don't know for sure, but... It's not enough, Daisy. It's not enough. Look at this! The ultimate comeback! I did take my crown back. That is my crown, thank you very much. Alright. Yay! We did it! Just had to believe. I was like, I am not letting her beat me, and I did not, so... Yay! We're the superstar! Let's go! Yay! Aw, oh, thanks, Stardev. Thanks for the bits. Woohoo! Let's go! Alright, 15 stars! What a crazy, crazy star count. Only on Fair Square. Only on Fair Square. Um, okay, so minigame coins. 168. I had her beat by 20. I really didn't feel like I did that well either, so that's pretty nice. Seven orbs. If I wouldn't have used my last one, it would have been a tie. So I'm glad I used that last one, even though it didn't even matter. Um, oh, she had five. What? I only landed on one? I thought I landed on, like, multiple. I was in dead last for that. I almost didn't land on any until the last turn. Okay, well, at least I took a chance just because my- in my mind, I had landed on all kinds- all kinds of happening spaces. Apparently I did not. That did not happen. Um, yeah, Hi a big win for Wario. Thanks for the- the hot- uh, highlight for Wario. Alright, look how tiny Waluigi is. Yay! Yo, I'm pretty excited. I, I'm i pretty proud of that victory. Uh, let's go to the star bank. Let's see if we can get another page for our book. We're trying to get all the pop-up book pages. And... I think we... Let's see, it's a great black star, blah, blah, blah. Miracle Book page 10 is what we're up to. So we can get a couple of these. Let's go ahead and get 10 and 11. Let's go. And 11. Now we're just five shy of 12, unless they go up in price. I can't remember. They do go up in price, so now we're to the 30s, so that's good. At least we've gotten all the cheapest ones. We've gotten all the cheapest ones out of the way. All these dumb mic secrets. I'm not gonna mess with those, I'm just gonna wait. Um, let's go to the- I wish this was its own thing somewhere else. It just is, seems so out of place in this menu where you buy things. Um, okay, we're gonna check this out. You never know what's in these pages, ooh. Okay, well. Say Goomba is the uh, hot page we unlocked. In addition to I want a banana. All right, what could this mean? Whoa! <laughs> I can't believe I never knew about the Shy Guy bonus. What about the Luigi bonus? Is there a Luigi bonus in this? So cute. We learn something new every day in Mario Party. Uh, let's turn to I want a banana. Oh boy, DK. 
Whoa, all the hammers and all the bananas for- All the hammers for Luigi, poor guy. All the bananas for Peach. Just what she wanted, obviously. These are so cute though. These, these are so much cuter than what I thought they would be the first time I bought any pages for this book. I was like, oh, this is gonna be dumb. And then it's like, oh no, they're actually really cute. Like, they are. Definitely um, feels a little like Mario Party 3 as well, since it also has the pop-up book appeal. Pretty exciting. All right, let's uh, back out of this. Let's go to the extras mode. So we have a little bit of extra. We have a little bit of extra time. <clears throat> Excuse me. Let's go to the extras mode. Let's do one of those. Uh, hold on. This is game mode. I don't know why I never remember the Mario Party Six menu for some reason, and like what is what, and all that good stuff. Like to me, I'm gonna keep these. Uh, I'm gonna keep these the same. Same difficulty and everything too. Might as well. Mini game tour, battle bridge, treetop bingo, Mount Duel, Decathlon Park, Endurance Alley. I can't remember which one of these is the most fun. I want to say bingo is pretty fun. Mount. I think Mount Duel's pretty fun too. Let's try Mount Duel. I can't remember, so we're just gonna try a random one and see. And depending on how long this is, we might do more than one too. So, we'll see. Okay, in this game you'll duel your foes in a mad scramble. This'll be good too, because we only saw like one duel game and it kind of sucked. So this one is, yeah, I was gonna say, this one's pretty quick from what I remember. Because it's what, like, three games in total. Uh, thank you for the follow. Three mini games in total. We're gonna go up against Waluigi first. And what are we gonna play? Oh, Trick or Tree? This would've been so appropriate on the last board. Yes, I am ready. Actually, I'm not. I don't remember the controls for this at all. <laughs> Isn't this like, spot the difference? Go. Maybe not, I don't know. Move, pick a tree. Uh, this is so cute though. I, I don't know. I think this is just luck based. Oh, what? Oh, come on! Are you kidding me? So I was supposed to pay attention and I just didn't. Okay, I messed up. I would have been really good at that if I had uh, actually known what I was doing. <sighs> Came in dead last, you guys. Dead last. Can we just try again? I don't want to watch them. I can't believe I sucked! This is so spooky too! All of these would have been so good! All of these would have been so good in the board we just played. Yeah, I remember this one. It's like where it vibrates is where there's a gemstone. I can't deal with it. Toadette, what are you doing? Just following her around and letting her win? Alright, we're gonna see who is the best of the two Mario Party 3 special guests here. We're gonna see who wins. I feel like my disc is being very strange. Oh, we have to duel for third place. Okay, see the rules so I don't absolutely just get wrecked immediately. And then we get to hear this fun song. Okay, steer your spaceship to avoid ramming into asteroids. Whoever hits an asteroid first loses. 
Okay, we move with L and R. Look ahead to figure out the best course through the asteroids. Okay, this, in theory, shouldn't be as bad. Oh, I also remember this one. I mean, I'm glad I looked at the controls, so I'm not like, whoa. I like how it's like, look ahead. Well, duh. Like, what else would you be doing? <laughs> Alright, Toadette, you sucked. So, I didn't come in dead last after all. I got third. I got the best of the worst, Jilly. <laughs> so, it's like, that's great. I don't care. Wow. Her little tower just crumbles at her feet. How sad. So tragic. Okay, booed off. I cannot believe we're getting all the spooky ones. Booed off the stage? I love booed off the stage. <sighs> you love getting booed off the stage, right guys? Go. This one's cute and it has little spooky trees, pink boos. You know I love a pink boo moment. I love the pink boos, Jen. Yeah, I do. I love pink boos. She's so cozy back there, you guys. Finish. Okay, Waluigi just ran right into it, so if Daisy hadn't been standing right there, he would have been a goner by his own doing. Also, Daisy, you are not the winner today. The Mario Party 3 MVP is Waluigi. So, sorry about your look. <laughs> I'm holding that flag. He's the winner. Yay! Okay. No, we're not going to play that again from the beginning. Alright, well, if I had known what I was doing in the first minigame, things may have been different, but... Okay, win minigames to cross the bridge, win minigames to get a bingo. I feel like this one's pretty fun. Maybe we'll do treetop bingo. And... Maybe after this, we'll start wrapping it up. Yeah, I feel like this one's pretty fun, though. Alright. Let's play. This game is Tricky Tires. Oh, what? I suck at this one! Uh, I know that Mario Party 6 minigame modes, they are pretty fun. I do like them. Daisy, get your big truck out of here. Out. Out. I cannot figure out how to do this. I don't know how to turn. Like, I hate this minigame. There was no way! I couldn't even move past the, like, first inch. I could not move. I couldn't. No matter which direction I pushed the stick in, I couldn't get it to go. Um... 16. Do I have 16? Ooh, I do! I do have 16. Okay, I'm actually good at this one. Memory lane. I'm gonna remember this time. I'm not gonna mess up. I'm going to remember. Good night, Drift Looney. Have a good sleep. Okay, over one, up four, over three. Go! Finish! Perfect. That is how it's done, okay? It's all about counting, which I did not do last time, and then I goofed. Okay, I'm going to probably take the four. Um, let's see. I don't know, this one was shaking. 
So maybe I'll take the 15. 16, 15. Alright, we're ready. We played this one already. Yeah, good Fall Guys game, totally. <laughs> Mario Party 6 is on the GameCube, yes. Um... I was... Sumo of Dumo? It wasn't spooky enough for me, Pixie. It really wasn't. I was not impressed. Oh, what? How come he gets the gold and I don't? We were practically in the same spot. That's so stupid. If we were doing a tier maker for Mario Party 6 minigames, I would say tricky... Uh, tires and or sumo dumo are C tier. I would. They would be like. Or the tricky tires would be like F tier for me. F for fail. Because I just am not a fan. Waluigi won! Ooh! I didn't even have that number, Waluigi! Okay, I'm going for four. Dang it, I'm... Everybody picks the same number as me. I don't know how to win this. I'm just gonna pick B for Bobo every time. Watch them all pick B. Okay, Daisy picked B. Pick B again, Daisy. B. Do it. Yeah, come on, B. Oh, she didn't. You copied me. I did. I copied you, Pixie. Look at them all copying my B. I pick B every single time, and someone else has also picked it every single time. I have not gotten to move once. This minigame would also be F tier. <laughs> Thank you so much, Psycho! <laughs> Thank you so much, Psycho, for the heartfelt message. I really got emotional. Also, thank you for summoning a hottie. I needed... I needed that, to be honest. Thank you so much for the picks. Look, this game's great! Just don't pick what everyone else picks! Oh, yay! I played this one and messed up earlier, so I'm not gonna mess up this time. I know it's... B-A... It's Bax. B-A-X. That's how you remember it. Literally in order of the controller. Wow, I wonder which one's different, you guys! Which one could it be? Ooh! Let's go! Alright, throw more Riku out there. <laughs> it was like, mm, mm Nah. Well, shoot! Thanks, Pixie! Thanks for the hottie alert! Thanks to Shogru Haibu! Touch the sky! Did you like my rendition? I thought it was pretty great, just saying. We need more silver haired hotties up in this Mario party. <laughs> Well, thank you, Bowie. You just happened to get this silver-haired hottie named Jilla. Jill G. She loves her her silver hair. Uh, thank you for the bits. Now we just played this. I don't want to play this again. I'd give it a B. <laughs> NC Jubilee. How's it going? We're big jumping. This is the daytime version, though, isn't it? Or am I just insane and think that this is a different version when it's the same? This always reminds me so, so much of Yoshi's story for some reason. 
There's like a one level late in the game that just is this. And I'm terrible at it. Oosh. Ooh, come on, give it to me. <laughs> so undeserved. Like, we literally landed at the same time. If not, he landed like a tenth of a second before me. And it was like, here you go, new record, rub it in his face. It's great. Don't, don't think about it. Okay, I'm gonna go with lucky number seven. Um, cause I gotta get two bingos. Oh, yay! Okay, I get to look for the, sh the shy guy this time. I'm excited. I didn't know this was a thing, so I'm very excited about it. Go. Oh, I got him! I had no idea that was a bonus! <laughs> I had no idea that was a bonus. This is in Superstars too, and I never noticed this. How could I be so cringe? All right, give me that six. That way I have six and four. Almost got two bingos. Ooh, ooh, okay. Oh shoot. All right, I gotta be better at this one because I'm not the greatest. As we all know. Go. Why? I'm like croaking these out for some reason. B, 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 why? Let's go! Okay. I gotta break the 20 second record. I don't understand. I just don't even understand what the record means. Let's go! Uh, uh, uh. We worked it. We worked it. We got that uh, treetop bingo. I call that a win. Oh, look at all the cute birds! How fun! Yay! We are a winner! I'm ready. I'm ready to be the champ. And I was, so. Yay! We did it! Alright, we played Treetop Bingo, Mount Duel, Fair Square. And I think that's probably where I'm gonna end tonight. I know I because I was late I streamed a little um, shorter amount of time than I normally would but I kind of underestimated how or I overestimated how long the board would take by making the turns less. Is that the right way to say that? Yeah I thought that that this the board would take a lot longer than it did and it really didn't even take that long at all. Uh, but it was a good time. I feel like it was a, the perfect amount for what was happening and the type of board that it was, so maybe that's for the best. And then we got to see some of these fun, like, dual modes. Or not dual modes, minigame modes. Um, so I think I'm gonna call it there, you guys. Um, but I just want to thank you all for coming out tonight and for being such a wonderful audience as always. Thank you to everybody who went a little extra with subs and bits and all the fun stuff. I'm gonna try and play the credits and see if it's glitchy. It's been really, really messed up the past couple weeks here. Um, and I don't know why, it just like has been uh, really slow and jittery. So there's either I need to, um, I need to try and re reformat it and see if it still does it like in a different format. And if it does, then it's on, it's, I know it's on Streamlabs end for sure, but it's just a little bit strange. So, uh, there it is. I'm going to try and roll the credits. We'll see if they work. And if not, then I'll just have to read everything. See how it's like 
slow? That's not me. Like, that's that, because I'm moving just fine. Rolly and Arcadia Free, thank you so much for the donations. Casanova, Psycho Nacho Man, Pixel Plume, Vibui, Stardev, thank you for all the bits. Brihawk, the GC Nick, Mario Gamer Bowl, and Slim Kirby, thank you so, so much for the subs. And Jimmy Wetzel, thank you for the raid. Yeah, see how weird that is? It's been like that for a couple weeks now, so I'm gonna try and reformat it to be like a different overlay, I guess, and see if it fixes it. Cause it's like that on Streamlabs website too. So it's not just like in the pop-up window or something. I don't really know what causes that. So we'll have to figure that out. Um, also shout out to my patrons, all of my patrons. Love you all. Thank you for providing extra support to my online content each and every month. Special thanks to my $5 plus patrons that you see here credited after each and every one of my streams. Thank you for your support. And with that, I think we are about ready to call it a night. I'm going to go ahead and find someone to raid though. Um, who's got to forward the love always. And you guys, just a reminder, tomorrow night is my Just Dance stream for February. So if you want to see Just Dance content, make uh, song requests or any of that, that'll be tomorrow night at 8 p.m. Eastern. Uh, it's going to be super fun. I'm going to be dancing, uh, taking song requests for donations, whether that be bits or monetary donation. And it's just a fun time. It's not something I do super often, but I'm going to start doing once a month. I started doing this just in January, so this is only the second time, but we're gonna keep it up. Um, and you guys can let me know at that stream if, you know, doing this as, or opening up the song list is something of interest to you, if I should invest in the unlimited, like, song plan, you know. Um, we still have quite a few songs that we didn't get to last time, so I haven't been in any kind of, like, rush to do that, but you guys can just provide a little bit of feedback tomorrow. I'll have things set the way they were at the end of the last dance, Just Dance stream at the beginning. So that way there's no like weird formatting because I had like one window blown up that should have been really small and I was really small. So we're gonna um, figure that out. Unfortunately, there's no Lonely Island DLC, Brie. Unfortunately not, or else I would have bought that in a heartbeat. <laughs> so I don't know, why don't they do it? It's probably just not. Well, they can make it clean, you know. I don't know, could they? Maybe not. Um, so let's go ahead and get things moving. I wanna go ahead and come up, oh, we had this hashtag earlier and I think it's fun. Bring back, what was it, Toadsworth? No, I know it was Toadsworth, but was it bring back Toadsworth 2K23? Is that what people were hashtagging earlier? Whoa, that is the wrong number I just typed out. Yeah, let's do that. That seems like a fun and fitting little hashtag. Um, why don't we, why don't we send some love over to Master Starman? He's usually in this community. Um, he usually raids us and I don't feel like we get the opportunity to raid him a whole lot. I'll make sure he's not ending though, cause he might be because it looks like he may have just ended. Or he may have just like beaten the game. Um, but I can't tell. Mm, we'll see, I guess. I'm not sure. Uh, regardless, you guys, I'm gonna go ahead and share my plugs really quickly. The link you're seeing in chat right now, that is my link tree. It has all my socials on it, my Etsy store, my Discord server, my YouTube channel where I back up almost all of my streams. Um, and that's another thing to keep in mind for tomorrow night. My Just Dance streams do not get backed up anywhere. They are a had to be there kind of thing. I give up. Oh my god, Gita! Thank you so much for the gift sub. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much for that last average sub to Mecarilla. Thank you so much, G-Dub. I really appreciate that. That's too kind of you. Um, new extras unlocked. I have no idea if this is the end of his stream or not. I don't know. Maybe we'll just rate him anyway. And then if he is ending, he can just forward the left somewhere. Regardless, um, my link tree is where you can find all my socials. I will not back up my Just Dance streams because there's too much copyright 
nonsense with the music in it. So you have to be there to be part of it. Unfortunately, I'm so sorry to anybody who's like, I can't make that time. I just, there's nothing else I can do about it. I cannot back it up. So, um, you know, the best I can do is download the stream for myself and then possibly clip things later that if there's anything really crazy that happens. But other than that, have to be there. So definitely try and make it tomorrow night if you're interested. Uh, my schedule is Monday, Friday, Saturday at 8 p.m. Eastern. I will not be streaming next Friday and Saturday, though, because I will be at my first convention in three years. So I'm very excited for that. I'm going to try to go live from the convention. Um, if it doesn't happen because of weird connection issues, you know, I'm not going to make any promises, but I'm going to try my best to go live for you guys and have you with me there a little bit. Um, other than that, I just want to say thank you all for being here tonight, and I'm so excited for tomorrow night. It's going to be a great time. Let's go ahead and raid Master Starman, um, who is playing Metroid something. Prime Remastered. <laughs> Glad I know words. Okay. There's our hashtag one more time. Love you all so much. I will see you tomorrow night. Take care of yourselves. Thank you so much for all the Rosalina hype, and I will be dancing with you tomorrow evening. Take care, everybody. Bye!